I was scrolling on Facebook Marketplace and there it appeared. An HP Compact DC 5800 desktop computer which was launched in 2008. These models were known to be robust and to be able to withstand the test of time. These robust little beasts came with the Intel Q33 Express chipset, an Intel Core 2 Duo processor, this model in particular with the E8500 model. 4GB of DDR2 memory, which has been upgraded inside this model to 8GB, and an Intel GMA 3100 onboard graphics card. But yeah, let's face it, this PC contains so much dust I can barely see if you are subscribed. Are you? Why not hit that subscribe button to help me grow the channel? Before I turn on any computer I get, I always blow them out quickly with a compressed air can. Now that we got it a bit cleaner, let's have a closer look. This machine comes with two USB 2.0 ports on the front, an audio and a microphone connection port as well. Then moving on to the back side we can see one serial port, six times an USB 2.0 port, one 1 gigabit network port, a VGA port, two time a PS2 port for both keyboard and mouse, and another two jack ports. You can also see the printer parallel port here for back in the day when these were still used. Overall a neat little machine. But let's test it out to see if it works. Ah yes it does indeed boot which is great news. Once inside the OS I tried playing a few games but this all resulted in crashes or messages that the game couldn't load. At that point I noticed that we are indeed in need of a graphics card a bit stronger than the onboard graphics of this machine. Previously I had also picked up this Might Little card, the NVIDIA GT 210 Low Profile card. Whenever these kind of cards are passively cooled, we can expect very high performance. Or not. After quickly placing it inside the HP desktop, it is time to play some games. Starting with League of Legends, this runs at 1920 x 1200 with everything on low. The frame rate here was okay, which is more than I expected from this card, as we are around 60 frames per second but rarely any dips. Then moving on to Counter-Strike where we saw a horrible frame rate of around 20 frames per second. This is with everything on low, and a resolution of 720 by 480. However, this was also horrible if I tried higher resolutions making me think that this issue came mainly from the CPU completely bottlenecking this already low performance card. But then, let's have a quick look at the statistics of some other games running with the NVIDIA GT 210, but paired with an Intel Core i5-2500 instead of this Core 2 Duo E8500. Fortnite ran with 720p everything on low, an average FPS of 36. Apex Legends with 768p ran 10 frames per second, Team Fortress 2 720p low, with 42 FPS, PUBG with 720p low setting, 8 frames per second, and as a last game Minecraft with 1080p low settings, 31 frames per second. This does really show that the CPU is the bottleneck here, as this isn't even close to the FPS we were getting. To resolve this issue we could upgrade the CPU to an Intel Core 2 Quad CPU which will still be able to run a lot of games. Taking the Q6600 as an example, these you can pick up for only two euro or two dollars and thirty cents here. This is a worthy upgrade to get a little bit more performance out of this machine. However, if you have a look at the watts that this machine will draw on full load about 220 watts while not giving great performance for now a days. Even converting this machine to a home server is not something I would recommend. As we can see, this card has not the greatest performance, but this card you can buy new for only 15 euros or 17 dollars. Second hand, you are most of the time able to get it for free, or something like only 5 euros or 6 dollars. Together with this free PC, it basically means that you are still able to play quite some games for the price of a beer at a restaurant. How amazing is that? Now only ask yourself, would you rather have that beer or this gaming experience? Hopefully you all liked this video review of the HP DC 5800. In case you have any suggestions on what you would like to see next, please do let me know. Have an amazing day, you all. Psst, did you notice the Star Trek Easter egg in the beginning? Let me know in the comments.